this is exactly why i am telling you dns subdomain uh, enumeration is a key activity and it also helps in a very popular attack called the subdomain takeover attack as well right okay how does this tool actually work when you give a domain name microsoft.com loading up the page so let's hold a bit okay you can actually see there are so many domains subdomains related to microsoft.com right how does this tool able to identify so many other subdomains of a uh, top level domain right it uses multiple techniques to do it let me uh, brief you the top techniques number one brute force it attempts to brute force subdomains by systematically guessing their names based on the common patterns and or word list number two reverse dns lookup retrieves dns information by querying ip addresses to find associated domain names useful for discovering reverse mapped subdomains three dns zone transfer attempts to perform a transfer of the entire dns zone file from a dns server potentially revealing all the subdomains configured under a domain four it also at times uses search engine docs like google docs etc five certificate transparency logs searches the certificate transparency logs to find ssl or tls certificates issued to subdomains revealing potential uh, other active subdomains which are currently available five passive dns data sources collects dns sources from passive dns databases and repositories that store historical D, uh, dns resolution data revealing past and potentially active subdomains which may exist even today last but not the least the sixth one dns cache snooping attack explores dns cache uh, either uh, public or within the targeted network to uncover subdomains that recently have been resolved or cached these are close to six popular techniques used by tools like dns dumpster how they actually identify the subdomains and how it can contribute in doing a larger uh, security testing or a security audit all right so when you use these kind of tools you can potentially identify other potential scopes through which you can gain access to the application okay so are you a penetration tester are you a security administrator are you a security soc analyst or are you a uh, you know vulnerability assessor or you researcher right so whenever you think you want to do a audit don't just focus only on the top level domain there may be hints to the top level domains through the subdomains how you can find them using tools like these it can actually add a lot of value in terms of the overall report overall finding and what the value you can produce to the client right in case you found this particular information useful consider sharing and subscribing thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity